Hey everybody, it's Paul Ramsey and I'm joined by John Koenig who is giving a one hour presentation at the 2017 NGH convention, uh, the title of which is The Possibilities Process, Using Strategic Questions as Post-Hypnotic Suggestions, starting with why not make NGH 2017 a turning point in your career as a hypnotist? What an interesting idea. John, how are you? I am very well. Thank you for having me. Thanks. It's good to have you here. We've never met before. I want to know never a little bit have. more about you. How did you get into hypnotism? Well, uh, it's actually related to what I'm talking about. I was an, an ad guy. I was what oh. they call a madman. I wrote commercials, Duck and Nine's Cakes, Crisco Shortening, that kind of thing. Yeah. And uh, it's very stressful to come up with ideas on a daily basis. A colleague went to hypnotist for creativity. And he got great results. So I went and I got great results. Uh, and, I and I was always interested in the mind, how it works. So I became, I, the course and became certified and did it as a hobby. And then uh, in the early, well, a long time ago, in the 80s, I produced, I uh, wrote this thing called Hypnovision Video, which was the world's first at the time, subliminal hypnotic video program. And it was very, very successful, left advertising for a while. Uh, I was on national television, got in every bookstore in the country. And um, then went back into advertising. 17 years ago, I sold my company. And I've been doing this work since then. Cool. Wow. Yeah. That's second, second career. <laughs> I'm, I'm also like you, a certified instructor. A lot of people that I, I teach, for them, it is a second career. It's something yeah. they work right out of college or high school doing. Right. That makes sense. And there's a nice... Um... There's a nice dovetail there, right? I mean, to have a career first right. in which you're so often thinking about how to communicate the right idea to people to get them to take action. That's exactly right. And, and you're just doing that in a different you're way. You're beginning to talk to my, to my topic. Uh, I look at and weigh the hypnotic sessions with clients as an intervention about persuasion. Basically, I use every trick I've got to persuade somebody to change behavior or thoughts or even emotions. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. What was, and hopefully you can answer this, if you're not, it's, if you can, it's okay, but what was like the light bulb moment for you as you, you know, you got out of the one career and into the other where you sort of made a leapfrog in your ability to get results with people because of thinking this way? Yeah, I'll tell you uh, specifically, um, it, it is difficult. In advertising, at the level that I operated at, uh, major national brands, there's a very formulaic way of doing things. You start with the claim and the reason why support, permission to believe, and benefits, which in many ways is like what we do. Yeah. Uh, you, you know, you have a, a suggestion, but what's the benefit for the client? Why should they believe it? that kind of thing. So in a very conscious way, I've always used it as a template for working with people. But then uh, a few years ago, I ran into the work of a fellow called Noah St. John. He has a book called Affirmations. And I, I found a kindred spirit in his work. In, in, we bypass the critical faculty in hypnotism. And a question inherently does that. You know, I put in my catalog thing, why not make this year's NGH convention a turning point in your career, even in your life? If I would oppose that as a, as a promise, that I, John Koenig, promise in this one-hour session, you're going to change your career, going to alter what you do, the way you perceive it. People, their critical faculty would say, really? Yeah. A, who are you? And B, how can that happen in an hour? But a question you can't argue with. And Noah St. John, uh, I met the guy, went out to, uh, to meet him, beautiful character. And he was using affirmations, the Louise Hay type thing. Yep. You know, I'm great, I'm powerful, I'm successful. And his critical faculty was saying, bullshit, nonsense. Yes. You're a failure. You're a jerk. Remember your childhood, all that stuff. Yeah. So he, be, he said, well, this isn't working. I'm not buying this. And he said, well, the mind doesn't work that way. Now, in hypnotism, we bypass that pushback through what we call trance, you know, through an altered state of mind. But a question inherently does that. Why am I so successful? Well, you have to ask yourself that question. Why? You tend to look towards success. 
And what I, what I, what I, my light bulb was that I could use this in hypnotism. We have direct suggestions. We have indirect suggestions. We have double binds, all the things that we use. But nobody that I knew of in the work is talking about using a question. A question embeds a suggestion. Yeah. Why is this interviewing going so great for Paul? Embedded in there is this interview is going great for Paul. Right. But like, why is yeah. it going so great for Paul? He's had four interviews today. Maybe this he's, he's like at his running speed now. <laughs> you can't argue with a question. And I designed a way to do this in sessions uh, in certain times in, in a particular way, in certain types of questions. I'll be talking about that and inviting people to come to it. I know in your interviews, you say to people, you know, what do you get out of this as a hypnotist? And obviously I'm hoping that people will take this and use it in their work. That's right. It's about a three minute overlay into a regular hypnotic session to use the questions in this, in this particular way. But also it's, I'm genuine, you know, why not make this the greatest and best convention you've ever had? I got the final slot. And to me, that's exactly where I want to be. You're leaving the convention three o'clock on the Sunday, come in, spend an hour with me with the intention of asking the question, why not make this the greatest convention you've ever been at? Now, the answer may be that somebody said something. The answer may be that you met somebody. The answer may be the total aggregate of things you learned. Yeah. The answer may be something just clicked. And, and, and if you can bring that out of my session, I'll feel, I'll feel great. That's what's in it for me. But the other thing is, is the advertising part of it. You know, the way the mind is structured, as you well know, the critical faculty is always going, yummy, 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 it's not going to work. And so, right. People live in a series of negative questions. So part of the process is to provide people with what we call an advertising permission to believe. But I talk about that in a structured way. So that's my course in a, in a you know, a capsulated version. Yeah, no, that's great. That's great. It's going to be fun. It sounds fun. It sounds fun. You know, I, I just keep thinking about, um, you know, my partner is, a, <clears throat> excuse me, is a hypnotist as well. Yeah. And she is a mother. Uh, she came into my life with a five-year-old who's now eight. And uh, one of the earliest things that I came to admire about was the way in which she used uh, hypnotic techniques as a parent. Yeah. And, and, and so uh, she is so great. I've taught so many of my other friends when they talk about their kids, why can't I get my kid to, to do this? Why can't I? I go, well, I'll tell you right now, you got to do what, what Gracie does. She, I, and I teach them about the double bind, but not the way most people do it is they'd say it in like sort of a permissive and you might yeah. find that you might, well, have this happen, you might have this happen. Right. And she gives her she's her always done that so smart is she always asks it as a question. Yeah. Would you rather do this or do yes. this? Yeah. You can't fight with a question. <laughs> and I, I find working with my clients, uh, it's magic because I, I do it. I'll talk in the course about how to do it in an hour at certain points. And early on, the middle and the end, backed up with this thing I call, and we call it advertising, permission to believe. Yeah. Uh, if you ever watch a commercial, the, at the level I was at, I was literally a madman, Madison Avenue, mm -hmm. major brands, and uh, we had a, a science to it, and there was a science to it. And it, in many ways, is similar to what we do, the work that we do. There's a claim, a post-hypnotic suggestion, you're a non-smoker. If I just said to somebody, you're a non-smoker. The critical fact would say, no, I'm not. Why do, you have, why do I have no desire to smoke? Well, that's a good question. That's a great question. Why do cigarettes no longer have any power over me? Well, that's fascinating. That's, and it's on top of what we do. I'm not suggesting this as an alternative to. Right. But a clarification. Whatever else a person is doing, you're doing regression to cause, you're doing positive suggestions, whatever you're doing, why not throw some questions in? And leave the client in a question, you know, was it the hypnosis? Was I just ready? Was it just my time that I just get sick of it? Was it the look on my son's face when he saw me smoking a cigarette that finally switched it? Right. Uh, I'm excited about it. I'm very excited about it. That's great. I love it. I hear your enthusiasm. I feel it. I love it. Listen, I don't want to start pushing you to a point where you're giving away 
your core content here. I think you've, you've encapsulated it very nicely. Uh, let's just review folks. Okay. We're talking Sunday in the 3 p.m. spot. 3 p.m. spot. End, the, end of the convention before you get in your car to go home. Right. Yeah. All right. Uh, go and hang out with John and learn about the possibilities process. And this is, this is, again, it's a theme I've come up in these interviews over and over again. There's a benefit here for you individually and yes, in learning this stuff. I think particularly what I'm doing for them individually to yeah. come with the intention yeah. of wrapping the convention up. You also ask how to know more about the person. I've got a book that'll be in the convention, The Hypnotic Coach, that I would invite people to. Uh, uh, it's a mere 1495, which explains my work to, to a degree. Uh, mm -hmm. I co-wrote it with all called Dan Rose in New Jersey. Cool. Uh, yeah. All and right. My website is greater Rhode Island hypnosis training .com. Thank you. Thank you. That's a great place for you to go and learn more about John and what he does. And uh, listen, go hang out and spend this hour with him and learn about this stuff. Such great stuff. Why not? Okay. Why not? All right. Thank you, John, for your time. I appreciate it. I appreciate it too. Be well. Right. Thanks.